Okay, this is going to be a quick video about bevels. So here I have a basic cube and I want to bevel the top four edges of it. So I'm going to select the cube, hit tab and switch to face selection mode. I'll select this top face and then hold down the control key and hit B. And then if I drag my mouse, uh, it'll start to increase the size of the bevel or decrease it. And if I want to round the corner, I can roll my scroll wheel to add or remove edges. And if I want to invert the bevel, I can hit P. And then when I move my mouse, it'll drag the bevel in. And when I get something I like, I'll just left click to accept the bevel. And I'm going to hit Control Z to back out of that. And show you that you can also use this bevel button over here which gives you this grip on top or this handle that you can pull out and again you can you can round the corner but it's a little more difficult because in order to roll your scroll wheel you have to keep your mouse button held down with one finger while trying to roll the scroll wheel with another finger or you have to use your other hand to roll the wheel so it's kind of difficult, but it still works. And you can again hit P to invert. And once you get something you like, instead of left clicking, you just let go of your mouse button and that accepts the bevel. So both methods work. I just think control B is a lot easier to manage. Now, uh, once you accept the bevel, as long as you don't do anything else, it's still active and you can still make adjustments to it in the bevel menu, which is down here. Just have to open it up. And then these three options here control the size of the bevel and the number of segments and the shape. Also, you have this clamp override, which is good because if you adjust the width way up all the way, it won't allow you to go past center. If you have, if you don't have it enabled, then you can just keep on going right past center. And that may or may not be a good thing. So I like to keep that overlap clamp enabled. So I can't go past the center point. You can also switch to vertices, but I'm not going to cover that yet. I'll cover that in a minute. So, once you have once you have your bevel set the way you want it, just left click out here in the viewport and that'll set it. And now you can't make any more adjustments. So I'm going to control Z again to undo out of that. And now if I want to uh, just if I want to just bevel one edge or two edges, I'm going to hit tab and go to edge mode and select the two edges that I want to bevel. And then it's the same as before. Uh, control B, drag out for the edges to round the corners. Uh, Blender remembers my settings from before, so that's why it's, it's round instead of just one segment. So just roll your scroll wheel as before. Um, I can do a, a small corner bevel or I can round off the in, the entire end and then uh, and hit P to invert. And once I get what I want, left click to accept it. And of course you can use the bevel button. Um, works the same as I, as I showed before, so I'm not going to get into that again. And like before, the bevel is still active. So you can continue to make adjustments here um, with your clamp overlap enabled. Make sure you're not going to go past center. And you can make all the same adjustments. And you can switch to vertices again, but I'm going to cover that in just a minute. So once you get something you like, left click out here in the viewport to set it. And that's it. 
So I'm going to control Z again to back out of that. Now, uh, vertex bevels are a little different. So I'll hit tab, switch to vertex mode, and I'm going to select all of these vertices. And then I'll hold down control and hit B. And when I drag out, I'll get something like this. And again, I can roll my scroll wheel. And again, I can hit P to invert. And I can come up with something like this. But maybe that's not what I want. So I'll come over here to the bevel menu and you can see that it's currently set to edges. So if I switch to vertices, now you see I get something different where it's only affecting the corners. And now I can, again, make adjustments here. I can make it smaller or bigger. And again, with my clamp overlap, it's not going to go past center. So I can drag all the way out there. Adjust my segments. Change the shape and get some interesting shapes happening. And once I'm happy with it, I'll just click out here in space and set it. Okay, that's it for this one. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.